going to Walmart. I'm going to see if I can get the oil changed in my car. I need to pick up a prescription. And I need coffee. <laughs> I need coffee. So, I'm going to pull through here and get a coffee. Coffee. I just don't want to sit forever getting my oil changed, so... If it's a long way, I'll see if I can make an appointment for tomorrow. Because I got things to do today. It's going to be 70 degrees, and I do not want to be sitting at a dealership getting my oil changed. Code. Three, two, nine, two. A large iced caramel coffee and then a large Diet Coke. That's it, hon. Thank you. See, with my code, I get my coffee for 99 cents. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Shit, I screwed up. There was nobody in this drive through when I came through a little while ago. And now it's packed to get a prescription. Like, seriously. I'm going to go to Walmart. I can't stand this angle, y'all. I'm going to go to Walmart and get some white spray paint. And then I need to get um, some cushions for my front porch, for my patio furniture. I don't need but two chair cushions. But uh, I can't find anything that I, I like. It's reasonable in price. Uh, we went to at home and I started to get the bench cushion that I was just in love with. It was 50 bucks and I talked myself out of it. And Kevin found one that was striped that was kind of like it. Really cute. So I need some cushions and Walmart was out of the one over the weekend. I'm going to go in there and see if maybe they got it because I need, like I said, I need some spray paint. So, I'm going to do that and see if but when I leave here, I'm going to go down here to the dealership and see if they can change the oil on my car because it needs it. I know it's not overdue or nothing like that. I think it still has a thousand miles left, but I'd rather just get that and, and the tires rotated now and get done over with. I don't have no kids. My daughter has COVID again, twice in a month. She got it March 12th. Um, she had all her positive tests, and then she finally tested negative like a week and a half later, and then her husband come home with it. And now she has it again. She tested positive twice. Uh, Friday or Saturday. Because she ended up at the hot, She ended up in the emergency room. And uh, they tested her there. So she had a rapid and a PCR test done over the weekend. And they both come back positive. So they think she has a different variant than she had the first time. Because her symptoms are all different and way worse. And she's six months pregnant, and she is having one hell of a time. So, um, I'm going to have to call and check on her in a little bit. I usually try to check on her multiple times a day. I need to do something with my hair. Like, it's at that stage where it's, I don't know, it's really stringy. And I can't find a good shampoo, y'all. 
since they quit making the shampoo that I used for years that I loved, I now don't can't find the shampoo that I like. Nowhere, so it's starting to bum me out. Because now my hair is just getting like greasy feeling. And it never does that. Okay, I gotta get my medicine. Okay, I have an appointment to get my oil changed on Friday morning, 9 a.m. So we are at Walmart and we are going to go in and see if they have any cushions. Mm, spray paint. I have some other stuff on my list. I'll have to look because my list is on my phone. But yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are oh, yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry if you're gonna leave me, then just do it Don't take it slow, don't be gentle no, I just gotta know If you're gonna leave me, then just do it cushions that I want. I did get two small blue ones, which I'll show you when I get home. But I run into everybody in there. Kevin called me on his lunch, so I spent 30 minutes talking to him while I walked through Walmart. Uh, I did get another pair of shorts and, and a bra. I mean, just the bra and the shorts alone was like $40 for something that I actually need, because I do need shorts really bad, and I definitely, desperately need a, needed a bra. So, Finally in my car. I'm getting ready to head back to the house. I'll show you what I got. And so, I mean, I had to stop recording because I was on my phone and then I was talking to one of the girls that Kevin works with that, of course, I used to work with. And it's just, that's that. But anyway, I'm, I just got in the car. I put my hand sanitizer on. I'm heading home and I will talk to you when I get there. Okay, I am back from Walmart. Back from Walmart. Let my dog out to go potty. Um, I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart. And I'm also going to show you what I got over the weekend at Target. Because we took that rug back to at home. And I ended up finding a bench cushion. And then um, Target's next door. So I went to Target and I found some shorts. Which y'all know... I'm looking for shorts. So, let me show you what I got today real quick at Walmart. They were setting these out. They're still, they're not on the shelf yet. They had them on a roll cart because they were setting the display. And uh, they must have been at lunch because they weren't, nobody was around. But I grabbed this. It was 19, it was 19 something. But I thought it was really cute. Every time I do make it to Target, which isn't very often because Target's like an hour away from me, the dollar spot there is always empty and they have like these trays, probably not as big as this one, but I'm going to put this definitely in my kitchen. I can use it for sure. So I grabbed that. Um, my yellow chairs out front on my porch, I'm going to redo those. Kevin's going to help me. So I got this rust dissolver to get the rust off of them. And Kevin 
told me to pick up a steel brush, so I picked up a steel brush. And then I got four cans of spray paint. And so that's what I got there. Then I picked up a bra. This is the one that I picked up. I thought it was really cute. Now, I don't like bras with the underwire and everything because I really want comfort anymore. I don't want to be digging and tugging. And I'm wearing the uh, Kim Kardashian, the Skims. I wear it all the time. But it doesn't have, like, if it gets cold out, your nips show through it, okay? So your nips will throw, show through your shirts and everything else. So I needed a bra that would take care of that. And the skims have no support. So got this one. It's just a Hanes Smooth Comfort, wire-free. It has that cooling effect, whatever. This is what I got. So I got that. <laughs> and on my way out, I found a pair of the... Sophia, Sophia Vergara. Well, now they're carrying her in store where last year they didn't. But I bought a pair of her shorts last year and I flippin' love them. So I turned around and got another pair this year. I like the color. They actually might actually be the ones I got last year. I'm going to look before I take the tags off. But, oh my gosh. $24 though. I just hate the price of shorts anymore. Hate, hate, hate. And then I grabbed uh, two of these 596 cushions. And you guys, that was all I got at Walmart. And it was a hundred and like eight dollars. I was like, you are flipping kidding me. A hundred and eight dollars. All because this right here was 40. Like, why? So that's that. That's that of all the shit. Okay. I went to Target, like I said. Oh, wait a minute. It's another. I got this over the weekend when we went grocery shopping. I bought the Blondie t shirt that I showed you guys. Well, I kind of kept wishing that I would have bought this one. So when I went back, it was the last one. And only $9.98. I got it in a size large. And it, it's the perfect fit. And I just love these. I was worried that, you know, there would be too much see-through. But there's really not when you put it on. So, I did get that. I forgot all about that. Okay. Target. Target. I did find some shorts at Target when we went over the weekend. And... These are Universal Thread. They were $17.99. And this is what they look like. Cute! So I got those. And then I really liked these because, I don't know, I think it's the double buckle, maybe. And again, these were Universal Thread, $17.99. And they're a little stiffer than them. No, these were $19.99. They're a little stiffer. I really, really, really like these. So, these have a lot of stretch. These are more of a thicker denim. But I love them. And I, want, I got this. I got the gray one when I went last time. And they were $8 when I bought the gray one. And all the tanks that I got like a week ago. Now they're all six dollars. They're big sign that says two dollars off. Then, so I got this color, six dollars, and I got this green. So I got those. And then I got this Guns N' Roses t-shirt. And when I got to the register, it's like $12.99, but it didn't have a tag or the sticker or anything on it. So when I got to the register, I told the kid, I said, I I know those are $12.99. He says, well, it don't have a tag, so I'll just give it to you for five. So he gave it to me for five. But, yeah, got that. Well, Guns N' Roses, or I did. Okay, then I got some tank tops. 
Uh, $8. I got two of these. I got this one. And I got it in a large. And it's still really low here. It shows my bra when I put it on. So, I don't know. But I love these because I, I buy them every year. And then I got this color. And then I got this one from... See, these were Universal Thread, $8. And then this is A New Day, and it is $5. So, and it's just a V-neck, a lot of gray. But I like gray t-shirts. I don't know what it is. So, I got that. And then also at Target, I, from the dollar spot, I got these uh, pictures I thought they were really cute. They were $5. And I'm just going to kind of plop them up on a shelf. And then I got this one, which was also $5. And I'm going to try to do like the layered look with like some of my frames and stuff that I have. But these are, they just kind of all went together. So I picked these up. Very cute. Um, Peddler's Mall. I got this for I think it was five dollars and it was the only thing I got at the Moorhead Peddler's Mall because I love these so much especially the really big ones so I got that and there was something else I got from the other Peddler's Mall but I don't I remember what it was Okay, if you guys remember at Christmas time, I bought a record player really cheap at Walmart. See, this is why I need a bra with support because my boobs sag so much. <laughs> but I didn't have any albums. And I am always, always looking when I go in Goodwill, thrift stores, anywhere, I look for albums. Well, I found Frampton Comes Alive. I had this when I was a kid. And then I also had bought it for my brother. And it was just an album that I loved so much. So I picked it up at the um, Peddler's Mall. It was just a couple bucks. And I found Nazareth. Love Nazareth. So I was just, you know, I'm always looking for like some old rock albums. And then I told Kevin, it was funny, I was like, you know, you never see like Elvis albums around here and what did I find as soon as I said that what in 10 seconds I found an Elvis one that had never been open it's still brand new and it says it was recorded live on stage I don't know but it's got Hound Dog and Jailhouse Rock it's got a lot of freaking songs on it so there we go I got three albums it's, I'm not a big Elvis fan as far as his music, but I loved his movies. Oh my gosh, I loved his movies so much. Then it, when we returned the rug from the store at home, Madison seen these and wanted them. So we went ahead and got them for her. Let me show you. They are so cute. Let me turn you around. We hung them over her bed. How adorable is that? Hold on, and I will turn them on for you. Look. Cute, you guys. Ever since I cleaned her room and painted and rearranged it, look. This girl keeps it clean. Like, keeps it clean. Of course, she has cotton candy in here. But look at this. Her room is clean. I'm so proud of her. Even her closet is still clean. Like, incredible. And all it took was me painting her room and rearranging it and making it look so girly that she fell in love with it. And she's taking care of it. And I love that. And then also, while I was at Target, I bought two of these because, like I said, Target's quite a ways away. And we really don't go there that often. We only go if we have to be in Lexington for something. So, I went ahead and grabbed two of these because it's only $2.99. And I, yeah, I think that was everything we got over the weekend. But I will show you 
my cushion that I got from at home um because I really like it I think it's really cute so and again what up no 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 now I there we go how pretty is that Kevin picked that out I really like it and then there's my pillows from Christmas that are underneath. And what I'm going to do is I ordered some pillow covers, which they're actually out in the mailbox because I've seen the mail lady just run. But I ordered some outdoor pillow co covers from Amazon. And I'm just going to cover those up. So those are down there so the wind don't blow them away. But that's my cushion. I really like it. And those are the chairs we're going to paint. Look at the rust on them. They are really rusty. Look at this. So, we're going to paint those. And that's what I bought the blue cushions for. And then this one I got uh, tan, cream colored cushions. And I got some navy cushions to put on all the, not cushions, but cush pillow covers to go on the bench and the chairs. Okay, this day has really turned the shit real quick. I mean, it was like a snap of a finger. Uh, my mom's called, and the only time she calls me is when she wants something. There's never a, hey, how are you? Um, how's everyone doing? There's never nothing like that. She had heart surgery, I don't know, about 10, maybe 10, 12 years ago. And now every time she calls me, it's like, Lori, I'm, I'm really doing bad. I don't think I'm going to make it. And I don't have no groceries in my house. I, I, I need you to come see me okay let me tell you me and my mom do not get along we have not gotten along in 50 years her and my brother don't get along me and her don't get along it's all about her like she'll call me and ask me to take her to her doctor appointments and her doctor's office is across the street from where she lives and I live in a whole different county so by the time that I would get up get ready get dressed um, get the girls ready if they're here whatever and go to town to get her well she could have already been to her apartment or to her doctor's appointment and then back home like it's literally right across the street from where she lives so then I mean not once did she ask how any of us were she knew we all had COVID uh, the kids have had COVID her grandkids or great grandkids everybody she doesn't ask about none of that doesn't ask about none of us if I tell her that I can't come get her or if I'm really sick like when I had COVID she get she got mad at me like didn't talk to me for over a month and then my oldest daughter I'm raising her kids and I have been for seven years I'm I'm over it with her I'm like seriously I'm I've had it now I've blocked her off all my social media but um, she just she messaged me and said she wanted to talk to the girls now every time that she asks to talk to the girls I will say hey your mom wants to talk to you do you want to talk to her and it's an instant no no we don't want to talk to her um, she's just gonna lie to us this is they're done they're fed up they're over it so she 
she messaged me and I told her, I said, look, and I haven't messaged her right in a long time. You know, I'll just ask the kids and they say, no, and we go on. But I messaged her back and I said, look, they don't want to talk to you right now. Well, she flips out and, you know, I'm just trying to keep her kids. I don't want to give them back, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? The judge said you can't have them back as long as you live with the guy that you're living with and she's either with him or she's homeless all the time because he throws her out and then she'll go to Ohio or wherever and then he comes and gets her he's an abusive narcissist and it just it's a never-ending cycle so she tried her best to go off on me at what well, she called me an asshole hung up on me and then um, I just messaged her. I said, look, this is how it is. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want your drama. You're just going to have to wait. I mean, I'm not going to make them talk to you. And uh, she threatened to go to child support or whatever on me. And I was like, and if you want to go to child support on me, go ahead. Go ahead. While you're there, explain to them why you won't pay your child support. And so again, I'm an asshole and I was done. I just blocked her off my phone too. Because usually I won't because I'm not going to be that person to where when the girls are older that she says, oh, I would call you all the time, but your mamma wouldn't let you talk to me. Because see, they're going to be like, no, she would. We didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? But I'm done. I'm at that point now to where... I don't want anybody that messes with my mental health in my life. I don't want it. She's my daughter. I love her to death, but I can't stand her. My mom is my mom. I love my mom, but I can't stand her. She's just been mean to us, me and my brother, our whole lives. So I'm just... I'm over both of them. They're toxic people, and I'm taking them out of my life. Now, I'm asking you, am I doing the right thing? Because I have been a basket case since dealing with them two today. A basket case. And I'm just, I'm tired of it. So, what would you do? I really want to know. I think me and Maddie's going to go for a walk and get some exercise because we need it. I tried on all my shorts that I own. I have a pile of the ones that fit me. I have a pile of the ones that if I lose five pounds will fit me better. And I have a pile. Well, I have a few uh, that I'm going to give away. <laughs> Donate, sell, whatever. But they're going to go. And, yeah, that's it. I think me and Maddie, I'm going to see if she's ready to go walk yet. Kevin is, he's way down there somewhere where them buildings are. Uh, I think somebody's coming to get corn, beans, I don't know. He's doing something down there. He's farming. And I'm here at the house with the kids. But, yeah. Let me know below. Comment below. What would you do? Am I am I wrong? Not wanting anything to do with my mother and my oldest daughter. Am I wrong for that? Because I feel like I am. But then again, you know, I feel like it's wrong for me to turn my back on my daughter. And but she causes everybody, everybody, nothing but grief. She's She'll be 40 years old, and she has no life. She's, I have to watch the words that I say compared to what I really want to say. And then my mom, I mean, I've never, ever done anything wrong to her for her to treat me the way that she does. Like, she 
Hell, I treat my daughter better than she treat my mom treats me, and my daughter has been nothing but pure hell to me for the last seven years. I've never been hell for my mom, so I don't know. I feel like shit, but yet I'm good if they just leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me know. <sighs> Slacking, girl. <laughs> Phone. I couldn't tell if that was Papa back here or the truck driver. Huh? Got your earphones on? Yeah. Just we gotta listen for that truck when it comes out or we won't hear it. Okay. I totally didn't just do that. Okay, you guys, that is everything that I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button below. You're the first ones to know every time I post a new video. And if you have any video requests or anything like that, just let me know below. We will see what we can do. But you guys, I love you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'm going to talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>